I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. He was a real visionary, not a hypocrite. Uh... What do you mean by that? I mean that he actually created something. He didn't just take pictures of models and pretend they were art. I'm not sure I get the connection, but... Uh... Yes, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max has clearly read more into them than I have. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday time heroes come. to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room.